Well, you're up then. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm not too bad. Do you think he'll come back? Christian? Well, you mustn't blame yourself if he doesn't. I mean, what did he expect just turning up like that? Did he expect to be greeted with open arms? But why did he turn up? Because he knows they have cancer. I might know now, but he didn't when he first arrived. Mm -hmm. We didn't give him a chance to tell us, did we? Hayley, you have gone out of your way to try and build a relationship with that young man. He's made it clear it's the last thing he wants. Which means that him turning up last night must have been for a good reason. <sighs> Baby! I didn't make too much of a fool of myself, did I? <laughs> Only by marrying me, love. Mm. I don't really mind that bit. No, oh, you were lovely. Mm. Lovely and mm. marvellous and beautiful and gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> mm, I'm drunk at this colour. Ah, well, so is everybody else. Don't worry about it. Everybody else apart from you? Yeah, everybody watching me. Will he slip? Well, no, I didn't. I'm proud of you. Yes, well, I'm proud of myself. My perfect husband. And he's all mine. Mm. Ah. Hang on a minute. Hey, didn't you hear me shouting? No, sorry. Hey, so how was the wedding? Um, Anything happened that I shouldn't have? No, it all went off okay, I think. Oh, so no bride changing her mind or bridegroom getting legless? No, not that I know of. Oh, well, maybe you had other fish to fry. Did you cop off? No, and I didn't intend to. Well, it's hard not to in my experience. It's like anything that happens at weddings don't count. Could have it away with the vicar and nobody bother. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know, so... See ya. Hey, Tim, when we got back from the wedding. What happened? Well, Hayley was completely exhausted. Oh, I know she was. I made it clear. Whatever he had to say now was not the time. Oh, here she is. Fizz was just asking her. Hi, Fizz. You all right? I gather Christian turned up again. Oh, yeah, couldn't have been worse timing with me out on my feet. I'm wondering if I should ring him. You know my feelings. Yeah, but I don't know his. Hayley, every encounter you've had with that young man has brought you nothing but unhappiness. Roy's right. Well, he's always right. He's done me all have to do what he says. I'm going to get some fresh air. Don't go too far. You see? They barely exchanged two words and already he's managed to upset her again. I hope he stays away. So do I. Is Sally going to be able to handle that? I mean, or are we going to get back and find the factory burned down? Well, I'm hoping she's still mad at Eva getting promoted over. So she'll be out to prove how responsible she is, won't she? Ah, oh, I see. It's all psychological, is it? Yeah, well, that and the fact we've got nobody else, huh? Hey, Tina. Hi. You all tell me the truth, won't you? What about... Did I make a fool of myself? Because there's a point yesterday beyond which I cannot remember a thing. <sighs> no, of course you didn't know. That's what I said. Yeah, but I didn't know whether to believe you. After all, we are married, aren't we? <laughs> True. <laughs> no, you're fine. Look, um, have a nice honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, thank you. We will. So to get everything done. Oh, you will. I'll come in and help you. But first, I'm going to nip in the bistro and make sure Si's OK. Oh, OK. Right. Shan't be long. I never know whether to release things I'd to say anyway. Oh, well, that'll never change. Oh, no. Oh, and as if to prove me point. Hiya. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. The wife knows I'm here. <laughs> the wife? Listen to me. We haven't been married 24 hours. No, I've had a lot of practice there. Oh, yeah, you have. What, practice at being married? Yeah, he has. Listen, do you want to go and start the bar, yeah? Sure. No, I just wondered how Sai is, that's all. Oh, I hope he's all right. He got off to school OK, so fingers crossed. Good. Listen, I was just about to make coffee. Got time for one? Yeah, that'd be nice. Why not? Was you nervous? I was, yeah, more than I thought, to be honest. We all were, thinking what if something goes wrong? Mm -hmm. You must have been disappointed when nothing did. I wasn't, no, Beth. Well, I thought you meant a lovely bride. Why, thank you, Sally. Um, so where is it you're going? Oh, Bali. Which reminds me, I'm not going to get there if I don't get things done. I'll clean my desk. Yeah. Anyway, where's Barley when it's at home? Oh, it's somewhere. It's a long way off. Oh, could have guessed that. This is Connor. Mrs. Who? Barley. Mrs. Barley, sorry. Oh, don't worry, Sal, it's not hanging a fence. 
I just wondered if you wanted to have a meeting so that we could talk about my responsibilities and duties for you while you were away. Yeah, we'll grab five minutes later, just not now. Okay, Sal. Thank you. Oh, Sally will know. Where's Barley? Barley? Uh, it's... Southern Hemisphere. Mm. Well, that's pinned it down. Southern Hemisphere? Good job, Sal knows the way about. How's Nick doing? Mm. You know, if someone has a physical injury, you make allowances, don't you? Yeah. So, like, somebody came in here on crutches, so you rally round, you get them a chair, you help them out. Yeah, well, that's Nick. <sighs> he looks fine, yeah. so you think, oh, he must be okay. Uh, well, he's not okay. No. I just, I never know what's coming next. <sighs> to be honest, I, I don't know if I know him at all at the minute. I mean, but don't worry about Simon, if you were doing, because I, I would never leave him on his own. Oh, no, I know, I know that. So are you, uh, are you going on honeymoon then? Yeah, we are, so I'd better drink this and shoot off. Yeah, listen, Peter, I do hope that you and Carla are happy, you know. Well, we already are, so there's every chance, but... No, it's nice to hear it from you, though. So you're not going to mess this one up, then? No, no, no chance, no chance. Good. Right, well, enjoy your honeymoon, then. Yeah, OK. I'll look after Nick. Yeah. See you. See you. Uh, there we are, love. 270, please. Ta. Hey, how was the wedding? You've hardly said a word about it. Well, what's it to say? They're all the same. Oh, you won't think that when it's yours. Uh, well, I won't, because that's never going to happen, so... Oh, you say that now. Yeah, I do. And don't go telling me I'll change my mind when I meet the man of my dreams, because I don't even dream anymore, Liz. There you are, love. Hi, girls. I think it's my turn. What does everybody want? Uh, an orange juice, please, Liz. Um, lime and soda, um, please, Yeah, orange juice. Tell. Two orange juices, lime and soda, pint, and a couple of bags of nuts. Tell. Come here up. Do you remember me? No. You're hard to forget, since I gather you didn't pass on my message. So we've been to see Ailey this morning? No, not yet. Are you going to? <laughs> Who are you? Our appointment secretary? I'll be going to see her, yeah. What for? What is this? You think you have to protect her from me? You're trying to stop me, her own flesh and blood, from seeing her? Well, it hasn't worked. Cos here I am, again. Yes, I can see that. What I want to know is why. That's something I'll be telling Ailey, not you. This time, nobody's going to stop me. I've asked him what he's come for, but he wouldn't tell me. Does he intend to call here? Yeah, he said so, yeah. Well, uh... Thanks for the warning. Right, listen. He was dead narky with me before, so I don't know what he's going to be like after a couple of drinks. I thought I'd keep it simple, let people know who I am, what I do. And now what are you going to do? Shove them through people's doors? Yeah, I'm going to give them to folk, yeah. In fact, ladies, you want one of these? Mm. You never know when you might want a man around. True as that. Can we just phone you, do we? Yep, day or night. Oh, by the way, if I'm home late tonight, it's because I've got a meeting with Mrs Con... Well, Mrs Barlow, as she is now, about handing over responsibility of the factory while she's away. She said it'd only take five minutes. I know what she said. Right, I better crack on with giving these out, then. See you later. Tim! Do you happen to know where's Barley? She seemed to think Simon's OK. He's gone to school, you know. Gonna go and see him before we go? Well, it depends. You know, you want me to do something here or...? No. No, Simon comes first. Actually, there's not really much you can do here. It's just a case of making sure nothing happens while we're away and letting folk know when we're back. So you don't mind if I disappear for a bit, then? No, you go. OK, thanks. Hey. Yeah? We're going to be happy, aren't we? <laughs> it's a bit late now, love. I just... I mean... I can't believe it. We've done it and nothing terrible's happened, has it? It's not going to, either. I know. I'm... Yeah, we are going to be happy. Hey, I'm happy now. And so will you be when you finish that, so get on with it. Bye. Bye. Be great next week. Two hour dinner times. Knock off when we like. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that is not going to happen. 
Well, why not? Who's going to say anything? Well, Mrs. Khan, Mrs. Barlow, is leaving me in charge, and I intend to report everything to her that mm. goes on. Okay. So now you're interested in everything I do. See, so my lads, you know, I'm off to the cafe now. Have a word with my parent. Right, and you do know she's got terminal cancer. Yeah, you told me. Better get a move on then, answer. And how are you today? Oh, I am great, thanks, as I'm fantastic. Oh, you must let me have a look at the wedding photo as soon as they're ready. No problem, of course. <laughs> and I'm sure the bride, Carla, looked beautiful. Uh, well, I wouldn't have married her if she didn't, would I? <laughs> and, of course, you'll be away on your honeymoon soon. <laughs> yeah, well, old-fashioned couple, you know, doing everything you're supposed to. Can I uh, get an orange juice, please, Liz? And, uh do you mind if I borrowed Tina for two minutes? I just need to sort out childcare while I'm away. Uh, Tina, gentleman here would like a word with you. Uh, do you want to take your break now? After you've taken that lot through. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Very much appreciated. <sighs> One twenty. Ta. And how is the new Mrs Barlow today? Ah, she's as beautiful as ever. Well, that's what I keep telling her. <laughs> Yeah, well, you keep that up and you won't go far on. I don't intend to, Liz. Don't intend to. Ah, yes, I was expecting you. You told me I should come back at a better time. I'm hoping this is it. Can I ask what it is you want to see Hayley for? Well, I know she wanted us to get together before now and... Well, I haven't been keen. Which is really why I'm asking. But people can change their minds, can't they? They can. But it's seldom they do, in my experience. Well, I have. Especially since I've now learned that she's not well. And not going to recover? No. Uh, so I've decided, if she still wants to, I'd like us to sit down and get to know one another. I don't want her upsetting. She won't be. Not by me. She's upstairs in the cafe. Would you like to follow me? There you are. Oh, yeah, I was just uh, having a think, you know, before Don't I... Don't worry, I'm not keeping tabs on yet. I just wondered whether you got the keys for oh. the battery. Yeah, I have. Then I can give yours to Sally and I can keep mine, can't I, just in case. There you go. Oh. Oh, go on then, I'll stay for a little quick drink. Yeah? OK, I'll get it. Thank you. Uh, large red wine, please, Liz. Right, coming up. Uh, you can go join them if you like. <laughs> what, with a new married couple? Don't think want me badging him. She's only popped in for five minutes. It's OK. Thanks. Ah, great. 3.30, please. You'll keep the change. Oh, ta very much. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. Could, could have been worse. She could have come in five minutes later and caught the two of you cosying up together. Sit yourself down. <sighs> Thanks. I'm sorry about last night. I'll be a bit tired. <laughs> I should have phoned. How are you feeling today? Um, yeah, not bad, thanks. I'm sorry to hear about... The cancer. Yeah. It came out of the blue, really. I, I suppose I should be grateful. Up until now, I've been able to carry on almost as normal. Well, you know yourself, I was at a wedding yesterday. So are you saying that's what brought you here? Right. Not to start with. There's no need to cross-examine him. I'm only asking. I came here because... I don't want to leave things as they were, and to apologise. As well you might. Hey. I know I didn't behave very well when you contacted me before, and I am sorry. Apology accepted. So let's just forget about all that's gone before and make a fresh start, shall we? Yeah, it's what I was hoping. Then we will. Starting with, um, oh, cup of tea? Coffee? What would you like? Ah, uh, cup of tea would be welcome, thanks. Uh, you, you sit down, I'll do this. No, no, you won't. What you can do is get yourself back to work, leave me and Christian to have a proper chat. He thinks he has to stand guard over me, like I'm a piece of precious china. Go on. Well, you know where I am, if you want me. We do, yet. Yeah. I know he's gone. I just want to say thank you for coming back. Kind of been the easiest thing. I'm the one who should be thanking you for not shutting the door on me. It's what I deserved. 
all that's water under the bridge. Let me make us that tea, I promise today. Right, me sitting here is not going to get us on our honeymoon, is it? Are you sure there's nothing I can do? No, just keep out of the way. Until tonight, anyway. Mm. Hey, I'll hold you to that. Mm, thanks for these keys and... Uh, see you later, see you, Tina. Bye. Bye. Uh, I'm going to go on my break now, yeah? I imagined you would. Thought you'd have gone off on your honeymoon. No, uh, tonight. Well, we stay at the airport hotel tonight, but we fly first thing in the morning. Listen, do you fancy some fresh air? Uh, I've only got ten minutes. I know, just out the bank. That way, we'll stop this and let me do everything you say. Yeah, okay. Great. Just nipping out for a cigarette, so don't worry. I'll bring her back. New start. Regrets how he's behaved in the past. Do you believe him? Not entirely. But I think Haley does. Well, he was downright nasty to me in the pub. He can be. We know that. But she's made it clear she wants to be on her own with him. We can only wait and see. And uh, that's Ollie. Oh. How long have you been married? Five years, last month. And that's uh, Maisie and Sam. Mm. I've shown pictures of before. Yeah. Do they know about me? Uh, no, not yet. Would you like to meet them? I know what I said before that you that you couldn't. I'm sorry about that. I, I would, yeah, but more than anything. Well, it's. Arrange it then. No reason why not. There's just um, one thing I haven't told you. One cloud on the horizon. Because I've been very lucky, I know we have a beautiful wife, lovely kids, and a beautiful home. Holly's seen to that. So what? Well, it all takes money, doesn't it? Family and home. It don't come cheap, and I was out of work for quite a while. Well, you never went back to the record shop? Nah, that closed ages ago. I tried everything. Applications, interviews. Nobody wanted to know. Oh, dear. I've got a job now, though. In a supermarket, which has got possibilities. It's just... I did run up a few debts. While you were unemployed? Exactly, so... I'll be honest with you. You've probably guessed already. I was wondering if you could help me out. Not help just me. It'd be for Holly and Sam and Maisie as well. You'd be helping us all out. When you say a few days. Five thousand and clear it. Five thousand pounds. Only I need it today. Five thousand pounds. Yeah. And what happens if you don't get it? I've got to. There is no if I don't. I've got to. And you have tried to say borrowing it from a bank. I already did. They're the ones who want it back. What are you saying? You saying no? You won't help me. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Look. Why don't I go and collect the kids? Because they'll be coming home from school and nursery, and I'll bring them around here, and you can meet them. Get to know them. You said you'd like that. I would, yeah. And it'll give you a bit of time. Maybe you'll have to make some financial arrangements, will you? I can understand that not everybody can just put their hands on five grand. It is a lot of money. Been keeping me awake, I can tell you. But you would like to meet Maisie and Sam, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you must have thought, you know, what is it with this bloke? Just got married and, you know, I'm coming on to you. <laughs> well... They do say anything can happen at weddings, don't they? Yeah, but it's not supposed to be your own, is it? 
No, I'm, uh... I'm sorry, Tina. It shouldn't have happened. Yeah, but it did, didn't it? Yeah. It won't happen again. Oh, and, um, there's another thing. I'm sure you'll agree we don't want my wife finding out about this. <laughs> you mean you don't? Well, she'll kill me. <laughs> she would. She, she would chop me up into little pieces. <laughs> and then come after me? No. No, not at all. She likes you. That'd be me for a high jump. So, so what are you saying? Oh, I thought, I, I thought I'd just said it, really. It's just probably better if we just put this behind us and move on. Yeah? Right, then. Leaving, are you? Leaving, but coming back. I'm bringing Ailey's grandchildren, Mummy. Well, I suppose they're yours as well, in a way. So I'll just be an hour or two. See you later. Said something about coming back with your grandchildren. Maisie and Sam. You think he's going to? I do, yeah. And this is because he knows about your illness, is it? Because it's quite a turnaround. It is. And if you mean have I found out why he's here, I have, yeah. Why is he here? Because he's after money. What, he's just come out and asked for it? Well, the man is a scoundrel. He's no better than a parasite. Course, to be fair. Oh, Hayley, you deserve better no, than no, this. to be fair, when he first came, he didn't know I was dying. Well, he knows now. He knew when he asked. Oh, yeah. So this coming back with his children. I think it's a sort of a bribe <laughs> to help persuade me to say yes. You know, if things were different... Which there could be. Well, no. No, I'm a married man. <laughs> yeah, like, like yesterday when you kissed me. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, Tina. That, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, because you're scared. I'll tell Carla. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm coming now. Do you know what? You're right to be. Yeah. How are you feeling? He hasn't come back yet. No. And if he ever does, I shall have quite a lot to say to him. Well, can I please ask that you don't? Oh, for one thing, I would like to meet my grandchildren. Even though, as you said, he's just using them as bait. That's not their fault. All right. I won't say anything. But can I ask, you're not going to give him anything, are you? Does that mean you're telling me I can't? No, I'm asking, are you going to? Quite honestly, right, I don't know what I'm going to do until I see him again. Is it the money you're worried about? No, I, I just don't want this man taking advantage. I know. He won't. I won't do anything I don't want to do. I think I might close early. It's been very quiet. All right. So, is there anything else you want me to do, or...? Oh, just keep out the way. Hey, do you hear that? We've only been married a day. Uh, there are things we need to do here. Yep, she's been like that with me, you know. And if you two are going to keep talking, go somewhere else, please. Well, uh, look, do you want me to finish off the packing, then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, only yours, though, not mine. All right, cos, you know, the sooner we make a move, the better, I think. All right, I'll leave it. Mm. Have fun. Yeah, uh, thanks, love, I will. Oh, Mr. Barlow, Miss Barlow yeah. hasn't said when she'd like to see him yet, has she? Oh, look, so I don't think she's going to see anybody right now, so... I bet she's changed her mind about letting you lock up. It's not just locking up, there's a lot more to it than that. No, there isn't. Hey, I'll tell you what your problem's going to be. Once she's got her hands on them keys, she's not going to let go. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> and Mrs. Barlow, you'll be locked out. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed some of them, they're being ridiculous. Well, it sounds like I'm missing all the fun. Um, so we'll, we'll see you when we get back. All right, right boy. <laughs> Let's this is Maisie and this is Sam. Hello. I'm Hayley and, and this is Roy. <laughs> how, how do you do? I've told them how you're a very important friend. Someone who's been a big help to us. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to see us. That you use for a secret, aren't you, is it? We don't actually live down here. I live upstairs. <laughs> but the brilliant thing about having a cafe is that you can have anything you want to eat and to drink. So, what would you two like? Oh, well, they've already had the teas. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Do you want a drink? Oh, yeah, please. What have you got? Um, well, we've got milkshakes or orange juice. Oh, or... milkshake, yeah. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, well, we've got banana, strawberry or chocolate. Oh, chocolate, yeah, please. 
You want chocolate? For Sam as well. <laughs> Coming up. Right, go and get your train set. What? Train set. And then perhaps we can have a private conversation about that other little matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we can. Just let me get the milk chairs, yeah? <sighs> I mean, oh, I just know that I'm going to set foot on that plane and remember half the things I've forgotten to do. Yeah, well, just as long as you don't try and get off again. <laughs> Are we all set? Yeah, I am. I'm not a phone a taxi. How long are you going to be? Not long. I think I did everything before we got married. We did remember to do that, didn't we? <laughs> well, you were there, baby. Mm. It's just we talked about it, planned it for so long. It's hard to believe it actually happened. Yeah, you promised to love, honour and obey. No, I didn't not obey. Ah, well, you do remember that. I do remember that. Yeah, it's worth a try. Mm. <laughs> you will keep on trying, won't you? Because we've both got it. Yes, of course. Now, come on, chop, chop. <laughs> I'll be half an hour. You have two lovely children. Put it another way, you have two lovely grandchildren. And you really do need this money. I mean, we'd all like a bit more than we've got. You're saying you don't believe me? What? I'm supposed to bring invoices, am I? Let you see the books. I was only asking. And I'm asking as well. I'm asking for help from someone who I thought might have been glad of the chance to make amends. Uh, amends? What am I making amends for? <laughs> all right, call it making up for lost time then. All them years when I didn't even know my father was. Well, I didn't know you existed. <laughs> yeah, that's your story, I know it it's is. It's true. True or not, I'm giving you the chance to make up for all that. All them years where you might have helped me out, but you didn't. Now you can help. Me and your grandchildren that I've just brought here so you can meet. Only what? You're now telling me you're not going to? Wow. What's going on here? Let me introduce uh, Maisie. Hi. Hiya. And this is Sam. So, um, what's happening with you know who? He's upstairs talking to Hayley. What about, do you know? I think I'd better let Hayley answer that. Right. Off we go. It's no use shouting at me. I wasn't shouting. Yes, you were. Look, I'm just trying to remind you. I don't need reminding. Oh, look, you must understand, Christian, that there have been times in my life when I, I haven't even known who I was or who I wanted to be. We all have them. Until I finally did discover who I am. And I also discovered a wonderful man who's been my companion ever since. And all this is relevant because... Because it means... When I look back, yes, there are things I wish had been different. And all those years when I didn't know you, when I didn't know you existed, I wish that had been different. Of course I do. Yeah? So your life hasn't been perfect? So join the rest of us? Well, I did hope that was something that I had managed to do. Well, I'm not so sure. So, have I been wasting my time? No, you haven't. Five thousand pounds. Are you sure that's going to be enough? Should be, yeah. What's today's date? I told me Carla got leg worse. Didn't I? Sal, you said she could hardly stand up, didn't you? What are you talking about? Carla, at a wedding. No, she couldn't. And she was slurring her words. I don't know what Peter was doing, that he didn't see it. Mm. And he's an alcoholic. What kind of combination is that going to be like? Uh, right? No idea. There we go. 270, please. Thanks. It's difficult. We all want to protect Hayley, but she's still capable of making her own decisions. Well, it's what he's capable of that worries me. He's got two very pleasant children. <laughs> that he produces when it suits him. No, oh, yes. Oh. <clears throat> right, kids. Let's get going. Look at the railway, Dad. Yeah, great. The time's getting on and you've still got homework. This is Chesney and that's Fizz. I want to be called Fizz. <sighs> well, no. You've, you've got your own name, haven't you? Hayley, you all right? Fine, yeah. Uh, well, it's nice to have met everybody and, you know, we must keep in touch. Bye. Bye, Maisie, love. Bye-bye, yeah. Sam. Right, then. I'm sorry that you're poorly and I hope you get well soon. Thank 
cute and puffy. But we'll have to see what happens, won't we? Okay, that's it. Off we go. Come on then, you two. Bye. Right. I would like to take everybody to the Rovers now and buy you all a drink, yeah? Are you sure? Positive. Let's get a coffee. Do you know what I think what about Carla and Peter, what we was talking about? Well, you were. I put money on him not lasting 12 months. It's not just him being an alky, he's a right womanizer, isn't he? He's always chasing somebody. In fact, I bet there's somebody now he's got his eye on. What? I'm jealous he's not you. You what? Well, you going on about the wedding, them two getting married, her being drunk, them not lasting. What's got into you all of a sudden? Uh, Tina, can I have a word with you for a minute? <laughs> right, listen to me. You're tired. You have not eaten all day, have you? Not properly. Let's be fine. I'm OK. No, I'm not asking. I'm telling. Go get your coat, go home, get yourself something to eat and have an early night. I was only making conversation and then she just bit me head off. I'm so sorry about that. Would you like another drink? Um... On the house? Oh, well, yeah. Go on, then. Hi. Hi. But, uh, this is my treat, so what does everybody want? I'll have a pint, thanks. OK. Um, just a half, please. Mm -hmm. Sure you're all right? Oh, well, assuming you're not asking about pre-existing medical conditions. Yeah, I am. Who do you want to drink or not? Uh, I'll have an orange juice. A pint half, uh, two orange juices, please. There's one ready. I'll okay. do it all. Than what it was Christian came about. I haven't, no. Oh, so he did have a reason? Oh, certainly did. Because you know he wouldn't tell me. He came because he's in debt and he wanted to ask me for money so that he could pay the debt off. <laughs> I've got to say. No, you haven't. You can say it in a minute. I haven't finished yet. And did you give it to him? I did, yes. Which I know uh, you didn't want me to do. Only because. And I know it wasn't because you were thinking of the money, it's because you were thinking of me. Yeah, I'm sure it was. So. If that's why he came? Oh, which it was. He made no bones about it. Why did he bring his kids with him? You might well ask. To put more pressure on. To make me aware that it wasn't just him, it's his whole family needs help. And this is the first time she's met him? It was, yeah. Must have been weird. Fairly weird, yeah. I didn't think I was going to be able to manage it. But it was also rather wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it must have been. Well, now I have got to say that the man is a scoundrel. He, he made it perfectly clear in the past he doesn't want to know Hayley, and now he just turns up when she's in the condition she's in. Which he didn't know about. He, he knew when he came back. He did. He just turns up blackmailing you. Oh. Yeah, I know it's a strong word, but, but I don't think it's inappropriate emotionally blackmailing you for the sole purpose of walking off with £5,000 in his pocket. Five grand? Yeah. You've given him five grand. Oh, Hayley. And you know what? I'm really glad he came and asked me for the money, and I'm really glad that I gave it to him. Oh, well. What, because you know he won't come back? If it's a cheque you've given me, you can still stop it, you know? No, I wouldn't want to do but that. But you can, chance. because Roy's right. He's blackmailed you. Well, I know that's one way of looking at it. What, is, is there another way? What do you want me to tell you? Yeah. For the first time in my life, I've met my grandchildren. Maisie and Sam, which is something I'll treasure. And at the end of the day, I've been able to leave him a small legacy, which I hope is going to help the father to go on providing for them. You hope? That's all I can do. But please, whatever you think, don't feel sorry for me. I think that I've been, I don't know, taken advantage of, because I promise you, I really have had a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks, mate. Oh, have you got the passports, love? Yes, and tickets and foreign money and... Oh, we switched the heating off. Yes. And what else? I always forget somewhere. 
Yeah, well, up this will be a first. Right, come on, let's go. Oh, OK. Carl. Ah, Tina! Hello. I'm so glad I didn't miss you. I want to say goodbye and thank you, thank you, thank you for looking after Simon and, well, for looking after us, you know. Mm. Now, what about you? You OK? Yeah. Right, sorry, look, we've, we've got to shoot. Right, well, we'll, we'll catch up on you. <gasps> thank you. Mm. Here we go, about the reality. Ah, oh, who needs barley and beaches when we got each other, right, babe? Right. That did sound convincing, didn't it? Very nearly, love, yeah, very nearly. Well, made it back then. Hey! Yeah, sorry to miss the point, yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting for a postcard. Oh, well, don't hold your breath. We didn't have much time for writing, if you know what I mean. Yeah, all right, a bit too much info. Sorry <laughs> to go off the idea of breakfast. <laughs> Here I am. See ya. <sighs> Listen, love, why don't you go in? I'll uh, bring the suitcases up and we'll go and check to see if the factory's still there. OK. <laughs> Maybe you can wear your sarong again, you know. Wear a sarong on holiday? Yeah, once. Yeah, she just a bet. She said, Would you wear it to dinner? And so I did once. Yeah, I suppose if it works for the Beckhams. Well. Oh. What do you wear underneath it? Do you just wear Grundy's or do you just let it all kind of. Here, keep your change. Mm. Swing low. <laughs> as far as kids go, you're better off having a girl. I'm dreading the next couple of years with our Craig. Why? Well, he's at that age, isn't he? Hormones and testosterone racing. And he started looking at girls in that way and all. What way is that? <laughs> Maybe he just needs glasses. <laughs> Have you finished that order yet? I've only got one pair of hands. We're behind. And we need to get this done before... Before what? The real bosses get back. What's the matter, Sal? Scared to get in sack. No, I am not, because I know that Carla and Peter are aware that I'm a very integral person to this factory. Thank you very much. Uh, that's lucky then, because uh, they're here. Hey, hey, all right, panic over, we're back. Hiya, all right, all right, ladies. Hey. And Becky. I was almost glad to see you for right. a minute. Oh, How was your honeymoon? Ah, oh, fantastic. Just what we needed. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, it really was. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I was here, Sal. Well, a few disciplinary issues that I shall fill you in on later, but apart from that, ooh. all under control. Mm. Oh, well, we've got you a little something oh, to show nice. our appreciation for holding the fort. Yeah, smells lovely. Yeah. 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 Very oh, expensive. Thank you. <laughs> all right, right, girls. Hey, hey you. See you. Hold on a sec. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I am carrying you over the threshold. This this isn't meant to be done here. It's at home, you do. This is your home. Now, <laughs> quick, before me back gives in. Oh, you shit! Oh! oh, Hi, how's it going? Well, I'm rushed off my feet. I don't know how I'm going to get this lot done. And I've got to go into town and get Fizz's Christmas present. Oh, what are you getting there? Guess. <laughs> well, this could be a real long game, Sam. Yeah, well, all right, yeah. Don't tell anyone. OK, OK. Food blender. Right. What's wrong with that? No, nothing. It's, it's good. Well done. What? what you... Justin! Hi. How's your holiday? Oh, honeymoon. Yes, great. Thanks. Don't bite. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. I've got to go see Simon. Right, well, we need to talk. <laughs> what about? Well, what do you think? Look, I can't. I'm in a hurry. Right, Peter, it's important. Yeah, so is my marriage. Really? Mm. Since when? Look, I'm sorry, Tina. I've got to go. In a sarong. Mm. Just when you think you know somebody. I know, it's mad, isn't it? Mm. Mind you, it looked like they enjoyed themselves. Couldn't keep their hands off each other on the way back from the airport. Oh, lucky swine. <laughs> Don't tell me Shannon said that. Ah, uh, could you change that barrel for me? Deal. Mm -hmm. You're quiet. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Do you really want me to answer that? I don't know what you're on about. Well, Peter Barlow's back. You're in a funny mood. It's not really rocket science, is it? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Peter Barlow can go and whistle. I don't want anything to do with him, OK? 
Right, now, can I get on with my job? Oh, knock yourself out. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're getting there. So you ready for the big day then on Friday? It's left to be. Oh, do you know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. And if you don't pass first time, you can always try again. That's an option I'd rather not consider. I'm going upstairs. All oh, right, love. Is everything OK? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just worried I'm putting him under too much pressure. His test is always thinking about it. It won't even be his idea to start with it were mine. Oh, he's only doing it because he loves you. I know. I also know how bad he'll feel if he doesn't pass. Mm. So you're treating us to dinner and all then, Mrs C? On your bike, Tinker. You've already got your presents off me and Peter. Anyway, it's Mrs Barlow now. Oh. You lot seem in a good mood. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's because love is in the eye. Oh. Should have seen a fella earlier. Picked her up in his arms and carried her into the office. Sort of like officer and a gentleman, only in reverse. Because he carried her out of work, didn't he? <laughs> anyway, it's dead romantic and uh, even I thought so. Mm. He was like that on our honeymoon and all. It can be right softy sometimes. Anyway, enough about my love life. Why don't you all just bog off and I can order some lunch? Right. Can I have an orange juice while I wait, please? You can. You oh, share yeah. that lot. Yeah. You all right, Tina? Yeah? Yeah. Never been better. Peter <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting out the sea after a swim. You can see he enjoyed the food, especially in them <laughs> trunks. Oh, and I guess Steve's harboring a six-pack, is he? That's more like a keg, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> she boring you with all of the snaps. Oh, uh, it looks lovely. Oh, it was. That's the second time that's gone off. Something important. No, nothing. You all right, love? Yeah, I've just got a bit of a headache, that's all. Well, why don't you go back to the flat, take it easy? No, I'm OK. Well, it's probably just jet lag. Go on, I can finish up here. Oh, I said I'm OK, really. Oh, now you're first domestic. Oh, shut up, you. Go on, I'll be a couple of hours, tops. Go. OK, right. See you later. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. Pete's drink for the rang. Wants his speedos back. Oh. <laughs> oh, please, you're supposed to delete that. Come on. Not a chance, May. I'm going to use this as evidence against you in case you think of running off with another woman. <laughs> oh. Hiya, Mary. What can I get you? I wanted a word with Roy. Oh, well, you'd be lucky. <coughs> like a glass of water. Sorry? Seem to have a cough. No, I'm fine. Actually, I wondered if you fancied being Kasparov to my Karpov again, especially after our last epic battle. I'm not really in the mood for chess today, but perhaps another time. Oh, well, I'm ready when you are. Bye, then. Goodbye. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm better for a rest. How are you? Well, much the same as the last time you asked me approximately an hour ago. Oh. Roy, about this driving test. What about it? I'm worried you're taking it too seriously. <laughs> Driving is a very serious matter. Statistically, there are more fatalities from... Well, that, that's not what I mean. A lot of people don't pass first time. I'm aware of that. What I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter if you don't either. It matters to me. Hey, hey, Liv. What are you doing back so early? There wasn't much going on, and I figured Sally could handle it, and I uh, thought you might be missing me. Oh, did you know? Yeah. I thought you might be pining for me with your big puppy dog eyes. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Mm, this is me you're talking to. Oh, I don't know, I just... You know, last week that was like a dream and then we get back here and you've got work and everything else and then you think, well, is, is that all it was? Dream? No, no, rewind. What's everything else? It's nothing specific, just... I don't want to let you out of my sight, that's all. So, there, good. I said it. You still got a headache? No. Why'd you ask? Treat me like a poxy shop assistant. No, I don't. 
Rob, you barely trust me to lock up without looking over my shoulder. We're partners. I've always said that, Trace. So start acting like it. What can I get you? Wine. What colour? Red. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, there's no need to take it out on her just because you've got a cob on. Whose side are you on? Uh, nobody's. I'm just saying, ease off a bit, will you? Do you know you? what? Forget it. Not in the mood. Are you coming or what? No, cos I am in the mood. Right. Better make it just a pipe, then. You all right? It's not like you to take lip off anyone, even my beloved. I've got more of a mind than Tracy. About what? Nothing that'll interest you. You'd be surprised. Ah! <laughs> now with the lovebirds, still nauseatingly happy. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Although, having said that, Carla's back behind a desk and Peter slipped off to the flat with jet lag. And the call us the weaker sex. Tell me about it. <laughs> I could have you in a fight. Oh, you reckon, do you? No, probably not. <laughs> Is that all right for coming break now? Yeah, good. Ta. I'm not saying that a blender's a lousy present, but it's not exactly exciting, is it? Joking, aren't you? You can do all sorts of them. Bananas, apples, make your own sauce. Look, Ty, all I'm saying is that you've got to think about Fizz on Christmas morning when she opens the box. You want her face to light up, don't you? That's what you're saying, I should get her a lamp. <laughs> do you want to take this into the bedroom? Mm -hmm. I'll do back up to it. Well, hmm? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Woo! <laughs> oh, can you believe that? Yes, I can. Just ignore it. <sighs> Come on, Peter. I know you're in there. Ooh, all right. Hey, do you want me to deal with it? Oh, no. I'm going to enjoy this. Well, Mind your language, because it might be Emily collecting for the church, love. All right. Oh, sorry, Tina. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, yeah, I thought I saw some kids trying to break into your car. What? So just... Where are they? I think they've gone around the corner now, Carla. Carla, come back inside. No one there. It seems to be all right. You must have scared him off. Oh, I didn't scare him off. So, uh... You're not working tonight. Yeah, I am. I just thought I'd um, come over and see if you guys needed help with Simon over the holidays. Oh, you're such an angel. <laughs> but you know, we, we can we can talk about this tomorrow. So. No, don't be daft. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Well, come on. You know what she said. Don't be shy. Come on. 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 Oh, and this is a restaurant where we celebrated our first week's anniversary. Mm, you both look so happy. Ah, oh, don't you look handsome there? <laughs> Gorgeous. So, um, you had a nice time then? Nice. It was amazing. Word to the wise, love. When you meet the right fella, and you will meet the right fella, no skimping on the honeymoon. I mean it. That's a little motto of mine. Start as you mean to go on. Mm -hmm. Right? I'll keep that in mind. Mm. Go on now, love. Give her a rest. Well, I'm giving her some valuable advice here. Well, well I should get going. Oh, now Simon. what you've scared her off. Oh. So what about Simon? Simon. You want to talk about babes then? Yeah, um... Why don't you just play it by ear? Oh, all right, fair enough. I better go and get dressed. Thanks again for looking out for us. Oh. Mm. Cheers, you darling. Bye. Kids, why are they? Why? Did he interrupt you? Just tell me what you want. What do you want? You're not know, here. Forget it. Oh, Tina. Tina. Uh, <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. Sorry again about Tracy. Oh, believe me, she's the least of my problems. I wish I could say the same thing. <laughs> oh, will you just turn your phone off? No chance, no, because then she wins. And they say women are the irrational ones. Do you know what, babe? Just do yourself a favour and stay single because life is a lot less complicated. What on earth are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Decorating the tree. Oh, I am glad we got a real one this year. What do you say the name of it was again? Uh, Nordman Fair. Mm, that's it, yeah. Possesses superior needle retention. Mm, I don't know about that, but it looks wonderful. 
Why don't you do the rest tomorrow? No, no. I've started, so I'll finish. Well, in that case, I will decorate the tree. You can direct operation from the comfort of the sofa. Or alternatively, I could untangle these lights here and stop fussing. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, and turn music up while you're at it, will you? It's just getting to my favourite bit. <laughs> Tonight. Oh, just have a chill, love. Boring. I thought you were jet lagged. No, oh, I've got a second window. Mm. Well, mm. what do you want to do then? You go to the beast, drive a bike to eat? No, I'm sick of the eye life. How about Rovers and Tickle? Ah, uh, no, I'm not in the mood for the pop. Well, I am. Besides, I want to see Tina. Yeah, why? That's for me to know and you to mind your own business. Mm. Oh, you're cherry. Tracy's been on his case. Ah, did um. What can I get both? Well, Peter would like an orange juice, whereas I would like a Cuba Libra, please. Cuba Libra? Yeah. A s rum and coke to us. Oh, wow. Well, it's my new holiday drink. Mm. Mm. Do you know, I could do with getting away. Could do with running away, more like. I could do with growing a pair. That's what I've been telling you. Why are you two picking on me? Because it's fun. There you go. Keep the change. And oh. you, this is for you. <laughs> I don't understand. But it's just a general thank you for being fab and for chasing off those kids. Oh, what kids? Oh, she chased off some kids trying to break into my car. You joking? When was this? Earlier, on my break. Well, why didn't you tell us? Well, there's nothing to say. I mean, I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> she did. She's a total hero. Go on, I'll look, see. Oh. <laughs> oh, you see, I knew how much you liked mine, so I thought I'd give you my spare. Oh, Carla, I can't. Of course you can. Well, Peter will always have it off you if you aren't interested, won't you? <laughs> sarong boy. That's funny. Sorry. What's that about a sarong? Oh. Hey, I'm not taking that for an answer. Thank you. Welcome. Did you go to Gun and Cowie? No, I don't ring a bell. Sounds a bit rude. Gun and Cowie is a temple. Yeah, right, I believe it is. <laughs> oh, Marcus is very big on culture. Uh -huh. That makes two of us. Only he's actually been places, mate. <laughs> yeah, like you're some kind of world traveller. Hey, you do the honours? Yep. Uh, same again. Mm. And for me, please. Coming up? Oh, I, I thought Peter was first. Well, you said please. Not so shabby, even if I do say so myself. Perfect. Not quite. Just need to finish in touch. Where did I put that angel? Oh. Please don't make that face. What's wrong with the star? Nothing. Just want to bring the changes, that's all. Ah, here it is. What do you reckon? Well, it's a cardboard toilet roll with wings that seem to have been fashioned out of paper toilets. Don't be so mean. Hope made this for us. Well, even so, aesthetic considerations apart, there's the Judeo-Christian symbolism to consider. And he's off. Well, I don't see why we should foist religion onto our Christmas tree. I'm decorating it, my love, not trying to convert it. Besides, what's this if it isn't the Star of Bethlehem? I would see that as representing a large celestial body composed of hot gases, not unlike Polaris, Alpha Centauri. This is going on top of the tree. Could you do the honours, please? Certainly. Hey, that's perfect. Could you pass me my tablets, please, love? Uh, according to my notes, your next dose is one hour, 23 minutes away. I'll have a nut instead. <laughs> I love Christmas. Sally wasn't too bad, to be honest. Mm. A bit like having your mum as a boss. You know, a bit of nagging, a bit of sighing, lots of disappointed looks. What am I like? Um, Different. But not like a mum. If you were, you'd be Godzilla's. Ah, you see, babe, I've still got it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so what's next for Tina, then? 
Who knows? I like to think the world's my oyster. Oh, well, you're, you're hot, smart, mm. and gobby, so I don't see any reason why not. And there's me thinking that was a mardy little cow. Ah, oh, no, no, Tracy's words, oh. not mine. All right, fair enough. So, uh, what's this? The mates now. Pretty much, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, why didn't you miss us for feel about that? No, I'd take my chances, wouldn't I? Brave top. I'm a brave guy. <laughs> At plus, uh, she can't hear me, can she? <laughs> True. <laughs> She's gonna nip out for a second. Oh, we'll hurry up. Hey, I want to tell them about the boat cruise and the gay captain. Really? Yes, really. Oh, chop, chop. <laughs> it was just like Jaws meets the Titanic meets the Rollback Mountain. Right, who's for another drink? Mm -mm. I ought to be getting back to the Abe. No, 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 I should get on. No, 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 nobody's leaving because I am buying. End of discussion. All right. <laughs> you two seem to be having fun. Don't they just? Uh, do you fancy a boat? Yeah. Have you got a death wish? <laughs> oh, come on, it's just a bit of banter, isn't it? Hey, you could do worse than Tina. Oh, come on, you are not matchmaking. Mm. You're evil. Told your girlfriend. Got another drink? Yep. Hi. Hey. So what was all that about, then? What was all what about? All what about? You and Rob. That was, that was cosy, wasn't it? Huh? Oh, you are kidding me. Hmm? Please tell me you're not jealous. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, you practically blank me all day, act like I don't exist, and now you're gonna go with me. Peter, I don't understand you. No, I know you don't. I'm sorry. No, don't apologise. Just tell me why. It's complicated, OK? Oh. And I'm too dumb to understand, as well. Tell you what, why don't we have this conversation another time? Uh, no, no, you're not going anywhere until you answer some questions. Oh. And what if you don't like the answers? Just tell me yes or no. Have you thought about me since, you know... No. I mean, I didn't enjoy it, though. You see, I, I told you it's complicated. <laughs> Seriously, I, I'm, I'm so confused. It's right, so what, why do you think that I didn't want to have this conversation? But, Peter, I'm, I'm telling you, I can't pretend that we never kissed. Yeah, well, you should try for your own good. You just said it was great. Yeah, it was, and let's just leave it there, OK? Let's call it quits. I'm not good for you, right? Well, I'll be the judge of that. No, you won't. Look, you think you know me, but you don't know me. You, you think I'm pushing you away. I'm not, Tina. I'm trying to protect hey, stop you. Me like a kid. I'm, I'm a disaster waiting to happen, okay? I'm like, I don't know, I'm like Midas in reverse. All right, well, if that's true, why'd you marry Carla? Because I love her. And, and she knew what she was getting into. Tina, I know how this ends. I will crash and burn, and I'll take you with me. If I'm willing to take that risk. Just stay away from me, please. It's for your own good. Seven days and counting. What, love? Christmas. You know the day when we give each other presents we don't want? Oh, yeah. Who invented that, I wonder? Good question. That was a joke. Eh? Who invented Christmas? Oh, yeah, right. You've not been with it all day. No. Still sitting next to the pool, love, you know, watching the sun go down. The moon's over now, baby. Hey, have you sorted out when you want Tina to look after Si between now and Christmas? Didn't know I was meant to. Well, you better get a book talk. She'll be busy like everybody else. Oh, look, can't you do it? Ha <laughs> ha, it's your son. Ooh. What's that for? Can't resist it. You were only 78. I mean, he never did drugs. He never even smoked. Took plenty of exercise. Yeah, it just goes to show you could be squeaky clean and still die young. Did you say young? Ah, uh, just you wait, Tina. It'll all look different from the top. 
Hey, uh, orange juice, please. Can't you find another pub to drink in? Look, I'm only in because of Simon. It's true, Carla asked me to sort out childcare for Christmas. Do you seriously think I can carry on looking after him now? Well, so what do I tell Carla or Simon for that matter? You're a good liar. Oh. I'm sure you dream of something else. Bye. Because I know him and you don't. A pint, please, Tina. Uh, and a red wine. So I am never going to meet these business contacts of yours. In time, you will. When, Rob? This year? Next year? Oh, all right, perhaps Tina can arbitrate. Uh, why? Who's she, Financial Times Business Bureau? <laughs> right, I've got a meeting at six o'clock, right? Bloke who I know who said he'll buy up all the stock that we can't shift. Should I do it or should Tracy? I have no idea why you're asking her. No, I don't. I mean, she's going to get her own way, isn't she? How do you mean? Well, she always does. Yeah, thank you, Tina. Look, do you want to have a full-blown row in public or are you going to let me do it? Uh, we'll do it together. When are you going to trust me? All right, jeez, you can do it on your own. Just this once. I suppose you're never going to learn if you don't do it. At last. <laughs> I haven't dropped you in it, have I, Rob? You might be surprised. Yeah. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Wonder how Tracy's getting on in the meeting. Be on your head if she screws up. Has she always worn the trousers? You are a real wind-up merchant, aren't you? Well, I do my best. Oh, is that her by any chance keeping tabs on you? In her dreams. <laughs> Oh, meeting's been delayed. He's stuck in traffic. Take another drink. Looks like you could do with it. Do you give all your customers grief like this? Only when they ask for it. I might as well eat whilst I'm here. There's no food. Look, call yourself a pub. Well, it's not my do it, is it? <laughs> do you know what? I could kill for one of my mum's fried cheese sandwiches. Fried cheese? What's wrong with that? Oh, you're such a mummy's boy. <laughs> Well, it's about the only thing she did do when she was around. You know, you look the spoiled type, and I bet big sister Carla was all over you as well. I don't think so. No wonder Tracy wears her trousers. She does not wear her trousers. <laughs> Tina, do you want to go for your break while it's quiet? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I might go to the smoker's yard for uh, some not so fresh air. Does that mean my ears are going to get a break as well? Oh, we are feeling hard done by, aren't we? It's a bit cold out there, isn't it? This time of year. Well, it's not for mummy's boys, that's for sure. Oh, and without his woolly jumper. <laughs> Careful you don't catch a cold. Well, I just wanted to say that, um, well, you couldn't be more wrong. What about? About me being a mummy's boy. Oh, touch a nerve of her. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. OK, so this is when you tell me your life story. Well, I've got, what? 13 minutes and I've got to be back in. Why so. do you keep winding me up? Because you keep rising. Ah, so you admit it then. What's these three questions? Maybe, just maybe, it's your way of trying to get my attention. Is that what you think? You tell me. Uh, Peter, you've had all afternoon to sort this out. OK, well, I can do it, yes. I'm in the pub anyway. I suppose I'll have to, won't I? Listen, I'll expect champagne and oysters for this when I get in. Right. Can I have one small glass of red wine, please, Liz? You can. That sounded a bit fraught. Oh, Peter's meant to sort out the child mind and stuff with Tina, and he... Has he done it? Honestly, I could kill him sometimes. Tina is in the yard now, if you want to speak to her. Oh, right, OK. Why do men always think it's about them? <laughs> right, so what is this about? Well, you know, they're all over you. Mm. And when it's time to deliver... You turn round and they're gone. Oh, right. Well, uh, I'm not gone, am I? <laughs> Is this a come on? Look, I could ask you the same question. You ain't got it in you. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy has got a glass of you. Sorry, well, that, that no, wasn't no, what it, it looked was, like. No, just... uh, no, it was exactly what it looked like. It was two friends no, getting acquainted no. with the back of each other's throats. No, right? We've all done. Carl, we're having a laugh. Yeah, we're just don't worry, you're around, safe isn't with it? me. I just uh, came actually to speak to you about Simon, but we'll do it when you're a little bit less preoccupied. I think. Carla, I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't apologise. <laughs> well, that's all I needed. <clears throat> Guess who I saw snogging 
in the smoker's yard. <laughs> Go on, who? Tina and... Tina? Your best mate. Uh, come on. Rob, my brother. Why are you kidding? No. What's it on? Tongues and everything. Well, what does he think he's playing at? Oh, steady on. Well, no, he's cheating on my sister. They said it was nothing. To be honest, it looked anything but to me. Though they begged me not to say anything, so I'll keep it under your hat. Right. And though, now the shot's worn off, quite like the idea. What? Well, I'd rather have Tina as a sister-in-law. Are you trying to be funny? No. Even if they just went out for a bit, she'd be better for Rob and Tracy, would. Oh, <laughs> all right. I'll pack it in, since it seems to be bothering you so much. I'm telling you now, there's interesting times ahead. 